Right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, <laughs> bit late for Sunday, but yeah, some technical difficulties and so on. So yeah, today, another round of Final Fantasy 1. Uh, classes are a bit more YOLO, quote-unquote, as we know it. Um, we can choose character names between 12 and... 16... Uh, 6 and 12. Jeez. Yeah, and there is a reason why you always use standard names. But, yeah. For marathon incentives, maybe. Um, yeah. Let's just see how it goes. So, yeah, we're starting off with a two min almost two minute cutscene, which is only not skippable in this version. Um, sadly, but yeah. Can shortly go through um, the differences in the shops. So compared to other classes, we are using very YOLO job classes, as you might see. We have one warrior in the front, because the warrior is just the most tanky. Can equip all weapons and armors, which is very nice. Um, then we have a monk. Monk is just generally the strongest melee, uh, melee fighter. So for the, for, for the late game bosses, uh, the monk is going to be the driving force to actually, yeah, get through those. And through the rest, we'll have two black mages who, well, black mages just have the strongest AoE spells, uh, which are just the fastest to kill stuff. Um, well, at least big packs of stuff, uh, big packs of enemies. Later on against especially chaos towards the end, uh, they won't be strong enough anymore. But yeah, um, we'll see just how powerful and how good they just manage by almost everything else. <laughs> Why almost? Well, we, we first have the early game until we get those belts. Um, yeah. We'll see. I, I hope it goes well. But early game RNG is certainly a thing. But yeah, we get some one menu here. Now well, we can just move on. But yeah, we buy one rapier and one chainmail for the warrior. And the first change is that we can actually equip it in here already. So we optimize the warrior, so equip it to the warrior, and equip the monk because the monk just the monk gets some innate boosts if he doesn't have anything equipped in armor or or hands, and that's just better than the stuff he gets at the beginning. Yay! Thank you, NPC. Um, yeah, the black mage just just cannot get anything useful, anyways. Sadly. So yeah, the only thing we get for the Black Mages is gonna be the Thunder Spell. Uh, which already deals decent amount of damage, like, <laughs> compared to the rest. Yo Shane, how's it going? <laughs> Yo Rizarian, welcome in. Yeah, no, I mean, it's kinda... I'm thinking of submitting those two runs, uh, two marathons. And yeah, so this helps. <laughs> hey Quas, thanks for the good luck. How's it going? So yeah, uh, we might or might not get a second encounter here. Uh, we get encounters like always the same amount of steps. It should be around 30 or so. Um, but there is a bit of variance because sometimes you get one encounter to Garland, or usually, but sometimes you just get two. Even if the movement is always the same. And here you can see the power of Thunder already. We have no MP, but we have spell charges. Um, really nice damage rolls. Only two melee attacks from Warrior and Monk. That was basically perfect. Where did I lose time? Oh yeah, right. We had five goblins. <laughs> five goblins take a while. 
Um, so yeah, but as you can already see, like, the one problem for Black Mages is if Garland is not friendly, Garland can just nuke the Black Mage with one attack. Which means usually you reset because, yeah, reviving costs money and money is tight early on. Um, you can also go to the church and invest that money in the marathon setting. Yeah. Talking to the princess we've just saved for the loot. Um, only in the NES version you can actually miss this item. In every other version she will just call you and you will have to go back. So yeah, as I mentioned, spell charges. Oh yeah, we first have a bridge building cutscene. And in this version we actually watch the bridge being built. Um, which is new. <laughs> Can't say I remember the bridge ever going to the other side of the river um, anywhere else. But yeah. And now to just replenish our HP and especially get back our spell charges after this cutscene. We'll just head back into the inn. Which you will see me do a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Cause it's just the by far cheapest way to replenish our, all our uh, health and MP. I will still use, say, MP. Do not believe it. Um, we are using spell charges, all good and that, but yeah. So yeah. And for the holy cutscene trifecta, <laughs> the bridge cutscene, the cutscene on the bridge is also still there. Um, yeah, making this, I, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know how people like resetting this for grinding, but yeah, you, you have quite a lot of cutscenes early on. Um, but after that, we have basically none of them left. Um, what else could I talk about during the cutscene? Well, I guess we could start talking about the font. <laughs> the font has been a very critical point for many people. Because, <laughs> yeah, the English default font at the moment still just... I mean, you can see it in text boxes. It just does not fill the box at all. Um, to change this... Like, to change this in a normal way, you can just put in the Japanese font, for example, and it fills perfectly. You can also check, uh, change it to anything else you want to see. People have... people have done playthroughs in... what was it called? Windings? A very, very great font that everyone should know, but no one has ever actually seen. Um, so yeah. A lot of possibilities. As of right now, um, a font modification will need to be pushed through against the mods if it should become a thing. At the moment, they don't want it. No, 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 no. Thank you, Monk. Yeah, as you can see, we also have like our inputs, uh, our, our former attacks put in. I will just quick save because this is supposed to be a new reset. Preemptive, you say. All right. Um, so yeah, we have three thunders on both black mages. I just want to preserve those spell charges for the next two encounters we'll still get to see on the way to Provoca. And yeah, with this having been a preempt, um, the only really difficult encounter was a walk wolf. Um, I said two encounters, but for some reason. Oh jeez, and this can still just be a reset. <laughs> Horses are not friendly. Uh, but yeah, uh, to note also, physical attacks have a chance of 50% to hit the warrior, 25 to hit the monk, and 12 and a half to hit one of the two black mages each. So the odds are not crazy, crazy bad, but yeah. 
Okay, I mean, if we don't get an encounter, then we don't get an encounter. I will take that as well. Um, yeah, we'll just replenish still. We'll just use the inn basically at every possible moment. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we sometimes get one more, but whatever. So yeah, to fight these nine pirates, um, just auto battle um, was reaching level four, which we usually do on the way by just killing everything. The warrior gets uh, is it the second? I think just the second hit. But yeah, the warrior is strong enough. Yeah, it's the second. Is that uh, therefore strong enough to just one shot the pirates? And this fight doesn't take too long. And yeah, and just in general, we'll be abusing the auto battle a lot. Oh wait, <laughs> those ship and not pirates. Um, Cause in general, if you have auto battle, being able to maximize the usage of auto battle just is what makes a run fast. So yeah, just going back in again. <laughs> it's fortunately also very cheap, so. It helps. Um, and yeah, we finally got our ship. Uh, real quick save. And hopes that everyone survives. Sharks give good experience. Um, but sadly, they're also quite, quite healthy. e buys are just annoying with their gaze attack. How is that shark not dead yet? Jeez. Um. And here, the encounter packs have changed quite a bit. There aren't as many different anymore. Um, you know what? This is not really meta, but... If the first sea encounter is just a bit annoying, then I just like just going back immediately. Because we'll have to grind a bit right now anyways. Um, just for safety. Um, if you really want to YOLO it, you don't need to. But that's something for people that are grinding for World Record, which we are not doing with this run. Uh, simply because like, you can always go riskier and especially when it comes to like skipping the early money grind yeah <laughs> it will just result in a lot of resets um yeah o optimally we would want to see buccaneers because they drop a lot of money um sharks would be nice but i I'm not sure if they even exist. Uh, like in GBA, you could like get single shark encounters or something. Um, I feel like here you only get like the shark encounter we had just now. Which this one is the same, just with a bit less encounters. Or you get like sharks and the Hagen princes. But like once you get one shark, you also get like a bunch of other stuff. Oh, and we are already out of, yeah, spell charges again. <laughs> uh, yeah, only 162 gil. So yeah, but we should be able to make it to just head into another. <laughs> Cause why not? Uh, yeah, sadly in this version, the ins don't show you how much money you have. In other versions, I do. <laughs> Yo, tomorrow! Thanks for the sub! With Prime, even. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, I will try my best to have a good run. I have a feeling it's not gonna be World Record, because I have not tested yet. So, apparently, for World Record, I need to start running away from encounters again. Which for Marathon safe strats doesn't matter. We just kill everything on the way and it is fine. Um, but yeah, I have not mapped out yet where I want to do that. 
Ah, so there we have the Buccaneers. Also always five in this version. <laughs> now I think sometimes it's, it's three, but you also never get like one Buccaneer. Uh, oh yeah, you yeah, you could also see something interesting. Enemies tend to flee like a lot more often than in other versions. Like in GBA you would maybe see a goblin fleeing at level 10 and everything else you would never see fleeing in a speedrun. Uh, let's try and see. If, wait, how much? I have 2.5k. Well, but I went back and forth. So we'll get one encounter anyways. Um, but yeah, in this version you'd see like every kind of encounter trying to run away at several points. All right, so yeah, we head to the inn. And then we start buying a spell that's like really powerful. And will help us quite a bunch, which is Sandara. Uh, 600, yeah, I mean, <laughs> people go with a lot less, but yeah. As I mentioned before, uh, I I don't want to cut like fights, um, but yeah, Sandara kills a lot, especially with black mages. Uh, yo, Misa, welcome in. Wait, aren't you supposed to still be running? Did you run die, or are you just in a cutscene? Um, two, two, all right. Yeah, just defending with the host. Sagans and deep eyes, big guys sadly don't really have experience or money. Like, 100. The experience you say, uh, you see, gets divided by the amount of characters that are still alive. So, yeah, it's probably not a lot. Sorry to, to hear that. Oh wait, what is the lump skip and Shiskill spear skip miss? Ooh, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> That's a bunch of time. Okay, so yeah, I have not checked how much we actually have, but we should have more than enough. To get a few healing items and move up. <laughs> More than enough! <laughs> yeah, just get everything. So yeah, and now we head on to the crown. Um, why are we fleeing? I shouldn't be fleeing. I only get three. We only get three encounters between here and Marsh Cave, where I want to tent again anyway. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Like, the skips in FF10 are just brutal. Because, like, it feels like they can just always miss. And when they miss, it's like... Yeah, just a huge time loss. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, forcing a third encounter here. Um, so yeah, tents also only replenish two charges of every level, which is why Rukus, who already used two Sandaras in the former two fights, is just attacking here. Just to make sure that after I use this tent now, I have as many Sandaras as possible for Marsh Cave. Alright, Grey users are weak to Sander. Oh. 
goodness. Well, fortunately, we have a bunch of potions. Also, um, what I've also not mentioned was we have auto oh. Get me out, please. It's not too strong. Um, we have auto save. So besides my ability to quick save, there's also an auto save um, when entering like a dungeon or a new floor or a city. So yeah, if bad comes to us, sadly there is no saving is pretty quick, but sadly there is no way to quickly reload. So yeah, if possible, you just do not want to die. Getting the Phoenix down here. Uh, murdering a bunch of wolves because that's what Sandara does best. The 810 HP, uh, XP. <sighs> exactly. Don't die. Don't die is very important. <laughs> Always a good advice. And the cottage here. Potion. We really don't need it, but it's always hard to say no, honestly. Um, I'll just let's see. We, that's nice. One Sandara kills. All I really want is one Sandara on each. Um, this. Hello, everyone got a lot of damage. Yeah, also small difference. We do not have encounter tiles in front of chests. Um, but instead we have trap chests and later on enemies we can talk to. Yeah, Fisker demons are only n not resisting uh, lightning. So Sandara is the way to go, even if it's not the best. Um, potion... And now we just head out again. What am I doing? Just auto battle, honestly. Something went wrong there. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, potion and moving on. Don't want to play with this encounter. So yeah, those crawler and bloodbones are probably the strongest enemies in this game. Bloodbones we'll even see later on in another dungeon. And this version quite a lot even. Uh, I also don't like scorpions, which we'll also see in quite a later area. Okay, we got away. Fortunately, this version is also very friendly when it comes to running away. Like in the PSX version, in the GBA version, and I think even in the PSP version, the odds of running away are a lot worse. I do not know about any yet. Are you really telling me we can't run away? Oh, goodness. Okay, so this should be the last encounter. Oh, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> Alright, we're just quickly gonna get rid of the Screws.
Quick save, and now we head to Astor's castle. Um, let's see if we can run. We get like I think three encounters. We want. I would go as five Sandaras against Astor's. If we are any lower, then we need to tend beforehand also. Optimally, you have six. Okay, it was even only two encounters. Alright, Astos time. The strat for Astos is very easy and very hard. Just don't get the bad AV spells onto your head. Don't get Fire Up, Sandara, and Blizzara against you twice. Oh, we even have... So, ah, Ruka survives one. Okay. Yeah, well, we do not survive a second. Our levels are actually good. Like, I, we, we do not always put half for um, four level three spell charges. Whoa, 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 whoa. The monk did a lot of damage there. <laughs> a hell lot of damage. Good job, monk. But yeah, this is the first boss in which we can see the old ver ver versions all had a set pattern of spells. Like Esther's always started with um, with death, followed by slow wrath. No, yeah, followed by no, followed by haste, followed by slow wrath, followed by fire, I believe. Like you usually didn't even get to see those, but now the odds are all the same. Um, flee, flee, Sandara, Sandara. So basically, every spell has the same, which means every spell just has the same chance, and there is not much you can do, except hoping to not get the wrong spells. Um, yeah, so since our experience is kind of okay, um, we'll just, I'm just trying to flee from some encounters if we can. It could haste four turns in a row. Unlikely, but it could. Um, healing in case we should get an encounter, but it's close. Okay, and now we once again <laughs> go to the inn and replenish our Sandara spell charges. All right, so what's come? what we've actually started already and what's coming up now is a small amount of fetch quest, but like the local fetch quest. Simply meaning we need to find a way for our ship to get out of like this. Um, yeah, as you can see, we kind of can't get out in the open world. So we need to find a way and yeah, for that we needed the crown, gives a crown to Astos. Astos gives us um, the eye, which we give to Matoya, who gives us a potion, which we use to wake up the prince. Who gives us a mystic key that we can use to open up a lot of treasuries. Um, and in one of those treasuries, there is a TNT or nitro powder. I'm actually not sure how it is called in this version. Which we give to the dwarves in order to blow up blow us a canal. So yeah. Casually would pro if we didn't know we'd probably have talked to Matilda beforehand. Because she is kinda on a side way to provoke her. But yeah, since we are speedrunners we like there is nothing we need to trigger beforehand. Um, that's more like an, hey, I have this item now, and you are the person to trace this item for another item. And yeah, also drop rates have increased, pretty sure. 
old versions had like no drop rates at all. But they are still not that high. Uh, we have not casted that many Sandaras. Yeah, nope, we should be fine. Then again, I shouldn't flee from too much when I see Rukus's max HP. <laughs> HP? Which basically screams, I am not gonna survive any AoE spell by by done by Lich. Uh, good Sandara. This is a bunch of XP. Yeah, we also cannot enter Elfen Castle from the side anymore. If you are afraid of your encounters, which I could have been, <laughs> uh, you can also enter Alfheim and then exit again when you are closer. But yeah, in this case, I was barely confident that it would work. All right, that's a mistake key. Old because I ran from encounters. <laughs> but yeah, running away is not that much faster than just getting a quick kill in. And it will pay me a bit in terms of money that I will not have. <laughs> Oh, nice. Ambush. That's what we like to see. Not. Good old six wolf ambush. Wouldn't be a run without it. Okay, so yeah. Got some sticky. Plundered Elfheim Castle. And now we'll go to Provoka Castle. Uh, Cornelia Castle. Provoka doesn't have one. I for some reason always mess up those two times. Uh, do we still have Sandara on boats? Uh, we're just running. It's fine. It was a preamp, but Sagans don't give much anyways. Alright, so yeah, step one. Get more chests. Most leeches to sell. It's not a lot, but I mean, we get it for free. You never say no to free stuff. Yeah, so, so much space in the, in the boxes. It's incredible. But hey, at least you don't need to have the game... Have your PC... Uh, where we... Equip... Optimize... Um, localized as, US, as English US in order to not get graphical glitches. Because <laughs> that was a thing originally as well. All right, so yeah, well, now we go here. <sighs> Sell stuff. Basically all the stuff we can find. Chainmail, Mistral Hammer, Mistral Knife. One tent, two gold needles, one phoenix down. I, 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 I want 20 Isis. I just definitely want 20 Isis. Some of those, some of those. Sure, we'll not get like 6k left as a dream. <laughs> At this rate, I might just. I think my note for 6k left was basically for getting two silver armlets. I am surprised I'm actually that close. So yeah, like, Sagans don't give anything. Or wolves, for that matter. Uh, of course, if you get like a pack of nines and even like nine times, basically nothing is at least a bit. It's also not too bad if you didn't get it. So yeah, time for the dwarves. More stuff to pick up. And we have... We are fast and the NPCs are slow enough so that we can do not need to get those two gilbox chests. Like GB and PSP, if the dwarf walks wrong and you don't care, they might just block you on the 
Locks the door. Um, and here, yeah, they don't want to see. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Now we have got given the dwarf the nitro powder in order to bl blow us up, blow the hole here. Just let us through. Just so then now we would, we would be told that we have to defeat Lich in order to get a canoe. Well, run away from encounters and still losing time. <laughs> Which obviously we will not find that out, we'll just go and beat Lich. Cause everything else would be a detour. Okay, yeah, getting these chests here. Um, skipping the last one, the third one there because that's just a potion. Yo RBW, thanks for the good luck. How's it going? <laughs> and heading off to Melman. Yeah, Black Mages are sadly the slowest characters, so it is not uncommon that we just try and run away. Um, fortunately, like, I'm not used that we actually can run away from stuff that often. But yeah, as I said, the PC bot is very nice with that. Um, I'll still head to the inn. Just keeping the resources in check. Then we sell Mistral Mail One Killer Great Helm. Yeah. One silver armlet. We won't. Being able to afford those is pretty difficult. Like, we could have also bought Haste and Elfheim, but even for that, we wouldn't have money, right? Now. Or maybe if we tried very hard. Um. I want to fight these. I got good money and good XP. Especially good money. At this point it's probably not good XP anymore. We are already level 12. <laughs> of course, that ghoul knew exactly who was gonna attack it. Forcing an encounter here, because we always get encounters like after the same amount of steps. Um, at least, yeah, no, we want an encounter here because then the tent, or we can tend whatever it does to us away. And hopefully not get an encounter on the first floor here. All right, Minotaur engine was formerly a very good encounter. Um, still gives nice XP, but of course it only counts as being a single. Compared to big packs, that's not necessarily the case. So yeah, if you want extra money, you'd... I'm not sure how, who does it, but you can go up there, uh, the upper pass, and then you would be able to get the Coral Sword and a bit of kill and a tent. Uh, just for bonus money. 
but for me the detour is just too long. All right, floor three. Floor three is interesting because not because of these ones. The pesky demons just hurt. <laughs> Still, always. Oh, goodness. What a waste of resources. Uh, one, two, you are fine. But because this floor has cockatrices, which we are very much looking forward to. I... Well, now we ran. Ogres were always easy to run from. And that's what we are looking out for, because cockatrices are really good in petrifying our characters. Um. Yep. And petrification in the PC version works a bit differently. What that means is that in this version, petrified characters can get a get experience and can get attacked. Uh, I should have casted Fire Raga with Rukus. Well, whatever. Um, yeah. What that means is the fact that they can get attacked, but at the same time obviously not take damage because they are petrified, means that they are just... We just want them to be petrified. <laughs> um, especially the warrior, but also the monk for now. Because the monk just doesn't do anything right now anyways. Wow, and Rukus apparently is a lot faster than Morgan. Um. All right, but we didn't get one yet. We still will have some chances later on. Now it's vampire time. Vampire, well, it's an undead, so it's weak to fire. And in theory, anti-undead spells from white mages, but yeah. Um. We have two nice black mages with Fairaga. Don't really need anything more. Uh, I think these two potions wouldn't be necessary if I actually if they were petrified, but it's fine. Still should have enough potions. Okay, and now we have to go out away again. Um, yeah, what I kind of didn't mention was, so back then, in the GBA version and PSP, you could get, like, do 15 puzzles, a boat in the end, and get neat items as rewards. You don't. Not in this version. <laughs> oh, uh, Rukus is already out. Well, go <laughs> oh, Morgan. In this version, the 15 puzzle exists, but it doesn't have a leaderboard, it doesn't give any items, just nothing. Um, Isa, 1, 2, 1, 2. Should be enough for everything. Oh gosh. NPC NPCs are so slow. That was actually fairly quick. But yeah, I kinda don't feel that Rukus will be able to survive a tier 2 spell. <laughs> no matter how much I grind, 87 HP is hilariously low. Okay, here we go. Please don't be petrified too quickly. Oh, I forgot, we could use Sunder. Alright, and now we just kill the Sundar. Right? There you can already, like, miss, miss. And the monk even still gets um, experience. So, yeah, it also means that the <laughs> warrior also drains XP, but. Yeah, 
the black mages are just more than happy to not have... Uh, I'm more than happy to have meat shields. Or stone shields in this case. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> but yeah, kinda reminds me of Dragon Quest almost. When Dragon Quest they carry the coffins with them and here they just carry big stone statues with them. Yeah, that also means that I'm kind of going to kill everything now. Well, we'll have to see if I do on the outside as well. Oh, come on. No. Whatever. So now I still killed some mummies. They are not too strong. Now we just make our way out. And start replenishing HP and spell charges with tens for our way to the sage for the earth rod and back. Whoa. Was this really so slow? Well, I guess petrifying your characters takes some time. But yeah, we bet vampire got the sa uh, sand ruby. Oof. Please. Now we give it to this golem. Who just stands in the way and doesn't let us pass until we give him some nice, delicious... Sand Ruby. It's a golem. Golems like rocks. <laughs> what shall we do? Oh, nice. We definitely want those. So, Lesser Tigers have a 4% chance of dropping an X Potion, and we really want an X Potion if we can get one. Because they basically give us a second life at the final boss. Alright, burn, tiger burn. Being two enemies, 800 XP is not even bad. Okay, that's the Earth Rod. Also, I should tent again because I'm out of Faragas. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. We will use one of the cottages we have before re-entering Earth Cave anyways. And the tents are just there for me to not chunk a bunch of ethers. Okay, yeah, no. I refuse to fight goblins. Really? Apparently goblin is the only encounter that's more difficult to run in this fashion. Because uh, I could never imagine not running away from goblins. Okay, more tigers. I don't think we need to Faragas, but it's like, it doesn't really matter. Because nothing really on the outside should require them. We 
Oh yeah, also even better. Enemies fleeing also fails like most of the time. <laughs> but I would say at least half the time. Why? I have no clue. Oh goodness. Thanks for making it quick. Pausing one encounter again. Um, there is a cottage. Fight a single minotaur with two black mages. Go, we just get out? Of course not. <laughs> uh... The amount of enemies sadly never corresponds to the, the chance to run away. Even in this version, it's more about which enemies you get. Welcome back, Crispy. Um, I'm German. How are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Oh, come on. What is this run? Like, getting trolled by... Uh... Oh. We do not fat finger things. One fire, one fire rider? We must have gotten good ex intelligence. All that staff had actually mattered. Nice, nice. Good to hear. This is definitely the worst run concerning NPCs ever. Oh jeez, that hurt. Potion, one, two, three. Ah, I see. How did you like it in comparison? Oh. Pesky demons have 84. Sadly, it's a damage roll that can sometimes happen. Like, I can't even imagine usually what... well what you would actually do. <laughs> like as a soldier in Germany. But... Blah. Could we just... Oh. Out of spell charges. Alright. Um... Isa, one, one, two... Yeah, we have more. I know, but... That's enough for now anyways. I mean, since we've learned that Faraga just kills and trolls are good experience, we'll just take it, right? At least good experience for now. <laughs> and this is why I bought Venises. To just be able to spam those Faragas, because the arrays do not get killed by a single Sundara. Ah! 
Ah, 83 times 2. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we can in that case also talk about shortly about like spell damage. Um, spell damage ever since it works as intended, quote unquote, um, unlike the NES version. Uh, scales in the way that with every 10 intelligence points on a caster, there is a damage increase. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three. So this is why you do not see like an increase in damage with every level. But once you see an increase, like it will be decent. Nice, nice. Um, this should have been the last one. Yep. Nope. Uh, he's a potion. Yeah, one seventeen. We'll see. We'll see. We need those six Faragas to hit, and probably one more. I don't think one of my Black Mages already reached, um, I think it's 30 Intelligence even. Yeah, it's the next 10 threshold, so yeah. We'll do like 180, yeah, 196 even. Yeah, we hope for no Blizzara, Fyra, Sandara again. One, two... Okay, that's good. Nice. And now switching to Sandara because we need something more. And that's Lich. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. I'm from northern Germany, so... Uh, but yeah, the southern part has quite a lot of castles, if I recall correctly. A little uh, Oh, we don't have a tent, but we have a cottage. Let's just use that. Okay, so yeah, since we use the cottage, no use to use the inn. For once, <laughs> we are fine not using the inn. Um, buying a second silver armlet that we just couldn't afford earlier. Yeah. Without the petrification... Oh, nice. Strats, we might have thought about buying one for the monk. But yeah, petrified monk doesn't need anything. Now to move on. Um, yeah, we, we just murder every single Sandara now on the way. <laughs> no use to do anything else. Um, might talk a bit about the config menu. So, config me you might have seen, I didn't even config in the beginning. There are only two config options you really have, which influence the gameplay. Um, one makes it that you have auto battle activated. Like if you, that you transfer the activation of auto battle, uh, which is kind of not good because if you want to change your inputs, then you can. It's way more difficult to turn it off in time. Um, and the other option we have is actually the memory cursor, like 
in the menus. Like if I now do new inputs, it will always be on attack at the beginning. Which for now is still fine, later on we definitely want to change that. Um, how do I know what to do in this game? It's either practice or the nice notes that I have written. Because they tell me what to do in case I forget. Um... Notes are just very helpful for speedrunners in general. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, Crescent Lake. And equips a warrior. Right, I forgot to do that. Yeah, come on. So yeah, the warrior will never get unpetrified again. <laughs> um, this, this, cross, glove, saber, iron, armor, yep. Uh, this, this. No, 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 no. Why? Um, yeah. Now you get to see how slow it is to reset. Um, so what I did was I bought too much stuff and I don't have anything to sell. But I need 26k after the item shopping. Um, autosave. Oh, autosave is even in the shop. I did not know that yet. Um, this, 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 this. Forty-five. One phoenix down. Okay, we need twenty-six k in order to buy two sandagas. Which are very important. <laughs> you know, just like resetting is super slow. Okay, so yeah, now that we finally got the canoe, we have options. In general, the canoe unlocks three positions. One is Mount Gulk with Marilis, which they will tell you about. Uh, well, whatever. I have potions. Um, one is Citadel of Trials, which the item you get there you can later use to get the job upgrade. And the last one is the place we are going to, this ice cave. Ice caves gives us the levy stone, which gives us the airship to open up even more possibilities. Yeah, for that we have to use a canoe. Um, yeah, we'll... we'll just see a lot of encounters that you know, white crocs usually originally counted to like the late game river encounters but those don't exist anymore like those don't exist for a while already oh geez what's that that's a rare one okay. um and yeah here yeah, i would say it's even the most common encounter I have enough healing tiles, uh, stuff. Well, whatever, we'll see. Oh, we actually got a cottage drop. Let's... I'm not gonna complain about that. Alright, Crispy, thanks for stopping by. Um, 
Why do I not have a Sandaga spell? Why did I not Isa? <laughs> uh, but yeah, fortunately that's also enough. Because uh... yeah, we really want Sandaga for these river encounters. And then we will want Fairaga outside. Um, we'll also use Sandaga just for this. I do not have a lot of Phoenix Towns. Could you stop sniping my Rukus? Sure, like, I might have one or two left. Nope. One after still. Um. Oh, that was unnecessary. Oh wait, yeah. Talking about config, I really wanted to turn cursor memory on now. <sighs> yeah, I mean, not for those encounters. Of... Surprisingly, the icy white dragons are weak to lightning. But yeah. Most of these encounters here are weak to fire. Not the Pisca Demons though, as we've already gone through. <laughs> uh, amazing. Simply amazing. Uh, yeah, we're just Faraga. The fact that Rukus is a lot faster also doesn't help. It would be way better, like... If, say, both got their attacks off, like, evenly. For the need to heal as often. But yeah. It's fine. So yeah, Ice Cave. We have a lot of dangerous encounters. Um, which kind of are not as dangerous in this version, but I'm still having trouble to, like, properly evaluate them. Um, on top of that, we'll have to get some kind of money out of here. Um, so there's a flame sword, there is an ice armor, there are guild chests. Ooh, mind flayers, don't, don't. Okay, it's fine. Uh, mind flayers have an AoE stun attack, and they have an on-hit death attack. Um, so yeah, I will de I'm deciding for today to get like the most money, which is we'll just skip the flame sword, we'll skip the ice armor, we'll go downright, nice preempt also, to go for the guild chests. Yeah, you can see here, like, just enemies to talk to instead of spike tiles, which also means the evil eye grind is not gonna happen. This way? Oh, if only it would have fled. I would have gladly taken that. Um, potion. Quick save. So yeah, this is like two extra encounters instead of one for the others maybe. But this is... 40k. This is a lot of money down here. And yeah, these winter wolves all know Ice Storm. It is pretty rough. Especially now that we do not have a ribbon yet, which would half this damage. Yeah. Oh, it's 30k. 25, whatever, it's enough. So yeah, the upper right again has monster chest, and the lower right in this case also, which is new. You stop ice storming, please. Oh yeah, and there are the old blood bones. Which we have seen earlier in Ma Marsh Cave again. Yo Darcy, thanks for the good luck. How are you doing? So yeah, another 10k kill chest down here. Oh no. Well, 
Später morgen, dann Lukas. Okay. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, since we are kind of killing everything here, anyways. I don't think I need to pick up more than usual. Yo, Becca, good morning. How's it going? Wait. Well, yeah, it, it is Sunday. It's still morning. <laughs> doing good, doing good. Um, yeah, that's why I was checking. Morgan doesn't have Viraga left. So yeah, that's also one of the reasons why we just have to kill stuff on the way. Because there is no evil like right? <laughs> Because there, there is only one. Um, also, yeah. Um, one, two. You can just see, switching from Sandaga to Faraga is just um, up one. If I hadn't switched to Curse of Memory, I would have to go like back to Magic and then going down the Magic list. Losing time is not so surprising, I believe. The walk to the down bottom left should take a bit longer. Should it? Well, whatever. So yeah. Good old ice storm. We all laugh to see it. Okay, now outside. We got Nakata trap, so might as well use it. Uh, I could have used Fireaga to. Save some spell charges. But... We, we are fine as long as Rukus doesn't like take every spell. Okay, I will have to ease it. Because <laughs> of course Rukus always gets the first turn. But yeah, you can see the difference. Like. We deal 309 instead of like 240 on the white croc and one shot it instead of like needing another spell. Uh, Archer, no, Archer also gets one shot thanks to it. Yeah, white crocs just give a lot of experience. So this is a nine, 1,900, just one enemy. Okay, now that we are back on the sea, just Sandara is enough. Yeah, sadly, this is not like the other versions. Preemptives do not just give you an instant flee. So, yeah. We just keep on murdering stuff. Because while not necessarily faster, definitely more consistent. Yeah, there are just too, you see, there are just too many fishes here. We just need to stop the fishes. Definitely. I mean, they are so aggressive. Um, yeah, I'm not allowed to scroll the notes, I know. <laughs> Should have done that during the cutscene. So yeah, because you can also do like, I think, movement with a mouse. I, I wouldn't advise it, but you can. Um, yeah. 
Okay, haste. No, Morgan. Morgan has more HP. I, I will use haste on Morgan. <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah, we gotta be careful using trying to use your mouse to scroll through notes. Yeah, getting haste and temper, which we kind of couldn't afford back then. <laughs> but are still very important. Um, what got me into speedrunning? Um... So I have, back in the days actually, I have like played the games I've played quite a lot. Um, one of them was FF8. And so back then I was playing Smite with friends actually. And so they had like promoted their own channel Smite game. Um, and that's how I got to Twitch. And then I was later on watching like other games like Final Fantasy VIII on Twitch searching for it. And then I found, I think it was Deathdome even. Um, doing speedruns of Final Fantasy VIII, and I was like, hey, that's another cool way to like enjoy a game that I have always enjoyed. Uh, yeah, so this is a marsh tile. Uh, I was like, hey, I can do that too. Um, ignoring the fact that that means that my first speed game was like eight hours long, but yeah. Yeah, going to Cardi Islands here because we get an X potion and an Alexa, which is nice for the final boss. And some money on top. Uh, but yeah, we still do not have enough money. <laughs> Ironically, so we'll also head on to Waterfall Cave. Yo Zen, thanks for the good luck. How are you doing? Um <laughs> that hurts. Nice! How did you like it? D d did you warm up with it a bit? Did people explain to you properly how the game works? <laughs> one, two, Isa, one, two, one. Nice! Yeah, congrats! So yeah, and then I just went from there, looked for the other Final Fantasies, and so on. Um, looked for other games I liked. Um, but yeah, the Final Fantasy community was mostly pretty cool, so that's kind of where I stuck. Uh -huh, don't worry, 32 is actually kind of cool as well. Whoa, what? Clay Golem not dying to double fire Haga? That's interesting. Not seen that before. Um, yeah. So yeah, usually rule of thumb is everything's dice up to Sandaga. Um, some stuff you can just use fire Haga instead. Yeah, that must have been like... Really low roll. Um... I mean, if I have two on both still, sure, go for it. <sighs> Not even that low. Dang. Okay. Learning something new every day. I guess we do Sandaga Fireaga against Clay Golems. Um, yeah, Pyrolisks are fire be fire enemies so you want to use something besides Fyraga. Problem is their gaze attack inflicts death and to prevent that we would need to get protect rings but <laughs> we can only buy them in the next town we visit. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Sundaga kills king mummies so bye bye. Uh, wait, uh, please don't. You do not want to play FF13 Solidarity Percent. Like, that's just not fun. 
Well, I guess he could just do like, I don't know, Sen Sen Mat or something and just stay in fights forever. Oh, come on. So yeah, as I mentioned, NPCs are slow and we need that chest. Like, yeah, standing there absolutely forever. Yeah, because of that movement, um, yeah, the, the split has also been transferred to exiting this place, which, geez, I will lose all my time safe here. Because of clay golems and because of that robot. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, I also need to ease again. Three, one, two. One, two, three. <sighs> Muscle memory is dumb. Because, yeah, you can switch from like the first spell to the fifth spell by pressing uh, the shoulder button, like R2. But if you're on the fifth, that means you jump to the last spell of the eighth row where you, we just don't have anything. Uh, also green dragon. I really don't want, like green dragon, but what shall we do? Um, high potions. I was so happy having saved the minute on your ship. <laughs> yep, they are stoned. <laughs> Actually stoned. Also nice physical attack. 10 out of 10. Um... Potion. Because petrified characters can still be targeted, just don't take damage. Um, yeah, Sandaga, Sandaga, thanks. Um, and yeah, still get experience, which is bad for the warrior, but really good for the monk. Okay, so yeah, you can also save a step by entering the airship by pressing A when uh, looking at it, instead of being on top. Uh, uh, where are we there? Sell everything. Knife, ice shield, wizard staff, defender. Three giant tonics, five speed drinks. Yeah, it's just unique to this version of the game. Well, some other Final Fantasies have it as well, but like FF8, I believe. But yeah, since the warrior's job, for example, is to only tank anyways, might as well do it properly. <laughs> okay, so yeah, time to invest all our money. So we are gonna buy, oops, Blizzaga for two. Why do I feel like I have way more money than I need to? Yeah, I have like 12k over. Whoa. Um, Ruby, three protect rings. Um, equip, optimize, optimize. Max Ethers, sure. Why am I maxing Ethers? I'm not sure, because I'm not used to having this much money here. Oh. This is actually so much that... If I had spent some... No, probably not.
But yeah, we bought the bottle fairy in the desert. And now we get the Ox Ale in order to be able to go to the Sunken Shrine. Oh yeah, we have basically all the items we still need. Hey Bluriel, how's it going? Good after morning. Can you do more damage? Where did my more damage enter? <laughs> Apparently the Hydras don't care. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, also we can run below that NPC. Bless the PC version. And other versions you cannot. And now it's time for Sunken Shrine. Yeah. I guess this is, we'll just keep on killing everything here. So yeah, rule of thumb, sea scorpions fly to Sandara, sea trolls need Sandaga, oops. Um, see, snakes need Sundaga. White sharks? Oh. Uh. Need at least two spells. Um, Issa. Let's try this. Maybe we can save a charge or something by doing that. Yeah, that's death. It's like... Easily enough. Okay, so yeah, here we get the diamond armlet. It is a one-time equipment, which everyone can equip. And is really good. Later on for the monk. It would almost be evening, to be honest. Almost 7 p.m. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... Like, it is at least way more... Like, we were talking about that recently, like, about when do you... Like, you don't say good noon in English, but, like... Having the mittag zeit, like the noon time, is actually kind of common in German. So yeah, um, Sundar, Sundaga. Yeah. Oh well, like in English, it's like morning or afternoon. You do not say good noon. <laughs> Oh goodness, just get me. Does Sandara even kill? I'm not sure. It should. So, Arkans are just bad. Yeah, uh, no, you basically say like the equivalent to noon whenever it's time you would eat lunch. Um, so I would say that you you can say like mittag between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Like afternoon to 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I guess. Maybe 6. <laughs> yeah, like 2 p.m. is something I would still call reasonable. <laughs> oh, come on. Couldn't we not get outsped by everything? Thank you. So 
Also, of course, it like also depends like on the person or whatever, but... This encounter is nice, but jeez. Battle Blizzaga? In theory, one is weak against Ice and the other is weak against, fu against Thunder. Or Lightning, so yeah. Nothing really helpful. So yeah, making our way down. Ghost just hit really hard. Nothing changed about the head. Getting gold old items like the giant's gloves down here, which, yeah, they have a monster in the chest. Nothing we can do about that. Um, we cannot dodge the spike tile as in other versions. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Potion. Sandag is good. Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter. On the contrary, it's a nice experience. Not gonna complain about that. And we're getting another ribbon, which I wanted to equip. <laughs> Kinda. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm still not sure where to ex exactly grind. Uh, Morgan Diamond, well, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, the total goal would be to at least have like the monk around 400 HP to have like maximum, for one, maximum HP against chaos, better chances to survive a Kraken physical. And being able to survive Flare, if it so happens to be casted. So yeah. Um, if grinding here would be better, I would say grinding here is the advantage that we only have two people that could run away if we tried. While later on we have the Monk Unpetrified, which would help. Uh... I guess that's just uh, the time thing we had. It's just one of the also cultural differences. And it would also probably even depend on where in Germany you are. Ignoring the fact that you have like dialects where they will call these things hella differently. Because, yeah, G G German is not, does not equal to German. Or at least not equal to what everyone speaks. <laughs> uh, three potion. I think five is max? Five is probably max. Alright, Kraken. Yeah. I mean, we'll probably be around even. If you kill everything, then I don't think there is just much that can change. Um, yeah. So Kraken threat, don't get physical and do six Sandagas. Really is all there is to it. Bye bye, Kraken. So, yeah, 10 seconds. It's like. <laughs> well, 
whatever, honestly. It just shows how consistent it is if all you are doing is killing everything with Black Mage. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I just don't think it matters, honestly. Um, if you have enough Aesis, yeah, give me more of those, more of those, more of those, we're fine. Then again, at this point, doing Tiamat Fork before carry makes it easier to run away from everything in Mount Gulk. Because <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try today. Um, I'll probably stop grinding anything after Tiamat. Uh, which sounds hella late to be starting with that. I just feel weird starting to run away from encounters when all I have is freaking black mages who might as well just murder everything. <laughs> like, when a black mage has a turn, like... Why just try to run away when you can cast Faraga? Like, that difference isn't that big anymore. Uh, even though there are definitely areas where I then should do the that, but yeah. So yeah, thanks to diagonal movement, like we've used diagonal movement in the overworld quite a bit. But yeah, you can see we just go diagonal all the way to get here. Uh, we can just do Tiamat before Marilis fairly easily. And also thanks to the like, how the encounter, what we do not. I need the Zaga whoops. Uh, work. We also only get like three encounters on the way to chime. Two encounters on the way to chime. Uh, which is the item we need. Oops. To get up to Flying Fortress. So yeah, welcome to Lafinia. All we need to look out for is, oh no, oh no, we will push this one heavily so that they don't block our way. Oh, well, this was gold. I have not a single clue. So yeah, originally all you got here were like Minotaur Zombies, and Hilgi Guy, and Winter Wolves, and apparently like this encounter for example. Some of things just changed in the remaster, in the pixel remaster a bit. But yeah, nothing too major to be honest. Alright, can we? Nope. Oh, preempt at least. Yeah, no, th these enemies are spooky and I really don't want to see them. Unfortunately, we can just make them go away. Yeah, sometimes you just don't get them and can just push them into Mirage Tower. But again, this is... Like... Just how RNG works, if it gives you a few more steps or not. Mirage Tower just also gives a nice amount of XP. Um, enemies that are weak to all three elements, which makes Easter Ring nicer. Um, I, nope. Sword items. Easter.
Yeah, I can definitely stop grinding after Tiamat. <laughs> And yes, the only item that we want here... There are a lot of awesome items in this dungeon. Um, Mirage Tower and Flying Fortress put together. Um, but the only item we really want here is the Ribbon, the third one. Yeah, the ribbon is just way too powerful. Halves elemental damage, protects from all status effects. Um, and increase yeah, just increase I think it just increases magic defense by a lot. And that way it prevents all status effects. <laughs> uh, nice flea. Really nice flea. Yeah. Oh, I think Sandaga is enough. Stone golems are not really weak to anything. Or strong. It's just that tier 7 spells are slightly, like, Blizzaga is slightly stronger. Uh... Okay, so yeah, getting the ribbon here. And then we can move on. Oops, this is Fire Rock, I believe. At least Fire Rock works for sure. Yeah, casual with 5500 XP. <laughs> if you just compare it to like all the stuff we had to go through before. We oh, yeah, also petrified characters can't get like poisons and stuff. Which is also nice, else we would have to enter through antidotes now. Okay, this floor still exists. And ironically, with the way diagonal movement works, <laughs> like there is actually one optimal way to walk through. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, the legendary floor 5, where the only really rare enemy in the pixel remaster resides. The war makes that we'll actually never get to see. Um, nope, wait. Gold needle, you. High potion. Um, Isas, Isas are fine, you... Silver Amulet, optimize. Down there, quick save. Shouldn't have forgotten anything for once. <laughs> PB kinda died here twice, because I forgot stuff. <laughs> Yo Squall, how's it going? Yeah, Womack Chan is very shy. Um, Tempered, Giant's Globes, Haste, Haste, Giant's Globes times two, Tempered times two. Why do I not throw high potions? I'm not sure. I really should. There is no reason for me not to. 
because I know that the third temper just doesn't do anything. But okay, um, you throw a high potion, you attack, you throw a high potion. Because yeah, Tiamat 1 actually deals a lot of damage with her spells. I'm mentioning 1 because Tiamat 2 for some reason doesn't. <laughs> Tiamat 2 is just way more friendly. Um, cottage outside. I have a cottage. Yeah, I have a cottage. And small shiny gold. Bye bye. Not expect both black mages to die, but I mean that just can happen. Um, phoenix down, phoenix down, cottage. You two change sp change places. Titor. Um, yeah, no. L let's kill Titor. Mm, I should have physically killed Wizzle Monk. Um. Titor is a lot of experience. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, that was kinda not intended. High potion. And for some reason, I'm still not confident in running away, even though it always works. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, Mount Gold. Fortunately, now graphic bug fixed. Uh, you can make it through this floor by just not stepping onto any lava tiles, but it's so difficult, especially if you want to do it fast. Ironically, I got all the hard parts, <laughs> and then I missed the, the, the easy ones at the end. But yeah, Mount Gold, also PC Remaster, has stronger encounters than before. Or the, the, uh, the, the good encounter, or the good experience encounters are more common than they used to be. So we see more Pyrolisks, Fire Gigas, Fire Lizard, Red Dragons. Oh, that's an early encounter. Um, okay. Healing ones. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh yeah, yeah. This escape just can feel long if you really pay attention to it. like two seconds which is why <laughs> killing encounters isn't the worst decision to make wow we actually failed to run away good job <laughs> oh high potion high potion high potion oops Okay, time for Merylis. Two ways to beat Merylis. Um, either you buff the monk, which I've seen basically everyone else do. <laughs> or no. Um, or you just do what we've done to Lich and Kraken. Um, nah. And that is cast Bozaga a few times. AK, probably seven. It was supposed to be six. Well, it kind of depends on damage rolls, I guess. Yeah, she has about 1.6k... 1.6? 1. 1. Well... 
1.8. But yeah, it's just... If you want to maximize auto battles, then casting the Zaga definitely works best. There we go. No. Still very, very tiny gold. <laughs> Which I mean, after what happened with the Tyrannosaur. <laughs> uh, yeah. That could have been at least 30 seconds more. Hey Emperor! Thanks for the good luck. How are you doing? Okay, I do not have a cottage left. We just run in and see how it goes. I should probably at least potion beforehand. These HP values for Bitch 2 just do not look nice. Uh, or to be more precise, I'm just gonna get murdered if Flare happens. I should, I should kill stuff. <laughs> for the sake of safety, I should kill stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, Flare is the only bad spell Lich 2 has. Everything else is nice, because most of the spells are just instant death spells that get resistant, resisted because we have ribbons. Um, fire Aga, Fire Aga. But yeah, having not a single Black Mage that can survive Flare... It's... I mean, Black Mages are supposed to have good magic defense, but I just don't believe it. Definitely the good it's a good decision. <laughs> Cause fighting against Melblaze does not sound fun. Ooh, could we please run? Dark Wizard's a good old Fire casters. I don't want anything to do to have anything to do with them. No. Attack. Oh, we had Faraga. Yep, right. <laughs> oh, nice. How did you enjoy it? And yeah, cha chaos can be bad. <laughs> Being at it, let's make a vote. Let's make a small prediction. Are we gonna get first try chaos or not? Are, are we gonna believe? That after two second try chaoses, the last two runs, I'll finally get a first try. Oh, ambushed. Yay. Okay, I will take that. Better than one Fyraga and then running away. Um, why am I using Fyraga? Could we please run? Oh. Fyraga does not, yeah, does not feel like the right spell for these enemies. Okay, purple worm. Sadly, only one. That's still 4,300 XP. That's... Always a right. So yeah, I'll just... 
go hybrid at least for all the encounters that I can kill with one spell. A solid threat to go for. Um, Double Sandaga does not kill. No to myself. Yeah, Triple Sandaga does so. Uh. Ooh. Single ass elemental, yay. Talk about stuff we don't need. <laughs> uh, nope. 400 on the monk. Yeah, I mean, I guess now I don't have a reason to fight anything anymore. 304 on the black mage. On the good black mage. Uh, yeah. Also, if I want to stay even, I can't fight anything anymore. Quick save. Time for Lich. Speed drink haste times two. Um, Giant's Gloves. Where's the speed drink? Haste. Kill is fine. Temper. Temper. Yeah, I mean, sure, just keep going for it. Second flare is gonna kill, and yeah, everything else just does not deal damage with Lich, does it? So yeah, never even anything in danger. Uh -huh. Did not need to quick save. It's fine. All right, Marilla's floor, three encounters. Which, well, who? Red dragons. That would be some juicy XP. Not gonna lie. Kraken monk to third position. All right. Uh, let's go. Speed train case. Giant's gloves times two. Um, speed train case. That's probably her strongest spell. Um, temper, temper. High potion, high potion. Yeah, I was already mentioning it's kind of it feels kind of similar to like Dragon Quest Eight or like general Dragon Quest games where you just carry a coffin around with you. But here you just have a statue. Wow! It didn't kill any of the three encounters and still lost time just because I had to heal after Lich. Really? And because not fighting encounters matters so few. <laughs> u 
Yeah, basically many Dragon Quest games you just have a coffin for every dead character you have. And so if you have like one character alive and three dead ones, you just have one character with three floating coffins following along. Yeah. Oh, come on. Last step. Okay. Um, monks here. We have enough of those. Speed drink. Yeah. Same, same procedure. Um, speed drink, giants, gloves, haze. It's fine. Temper. Nice physical. Good old 50% physical on the stone character. Um, yeah, now we just... Fire potions. <laughs> we'll need two attacks from the monk, no matter what. So there's no reason to buff any further. Problem would be, so like, the second round of high potions would probably go on the warrior, because, yeah. The auto programming is not that great, but oh, also nice eye drops drop. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Kraken Two's um, signature drop. Um, could you just flee? Nope, we cannot just sleep. <laughs> uh. Okay, quick save and go. Speed drink. Oops, giant's glove. Yeah, nice. Um, so you can only have one haste, but it can like be demolished. You have like slow minus one haste plus one. Oh, where are we? Yeah, oops. Temper. Um, you can sp stack like your speed with speed drinks until 16 or 32 hits. 32 on the monk and, nin and thief slash ninja. Um, you attack, you... nope, high potion. Um, temper? Probably till 255. Um. A lot. Like, we'll never get there. Yeah, yeah, running away took a long time. So yeah, you have like haste is plus one. If you get slowed or slower again, then it's minus one, then it's back to zero and all that. Um, you... want to... I have still not ESET for Tempest. Oh, that's a late encounter actually. Ether a bunch. And then we start the lottery. Time to see how friendly chaos is gonna be. 
Chaos has a 20% chance to just physically attack the warrior, which would be great. So yeah, the strat is kind of straightforward. We use giant tonics on the monk. Um, giant tonic. And this is a rip. We will not continue this because this is my my haste caster. Thanks for nothing. Um, should that teach me to give haste to bows? Maybe. I mean, it would have been difficult anyways. Um, having a character die this early on. Yeah, chaos struck again. So yeah, the goal is get the monk to 999 HP. Uh, we have one X potion to Alexis to heal up three times. Um, buff a lot and deals us 20k damage. But yeah, in short, step one, giant tonics. Okay, okay. People survived. Um, speed drink, X potion, haste. And people died. People died horribly. <laughs> Jeez. Cyclone is like the second worst AoE attack. And it take and it's like four percent to hit here. Four. Hey, Quina. <laughs> I mean, at some point it is just Monk versus Chaos, which is okay. Like, not going through the, like, Black Mage's spell animations and such. But, yeah. Uh, Chaos is a 40% chance to just use a physical, of which 50% would go onto the warrior. Okay. Speed drink. X potion. Haste. There we go. Alright. Now we want 95 attack boost, at least. Provided by Tempers and Giant's Gloves. Tempers are 14. Giant's Gloves are 16. Everyone else dying means we need 6 sabers now. Which is bad. But we'll see. 2... 3. It also means I need to yolo my heals a bit. 4... 5... Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I got an X potion drop. Um... Okay. That's good. Five. Six. We'll do a sevens. Oh, Slora. Yeah, Slora not hitting is really good. Okay, and now we need to deal 20k. 3.8. 4. Eleven point nine. So three to f two to three attacks. Okay, two more attacks. Haste. After haste, he would maybe even one shot. But that's it. <laughs> See, that's Final Fantasy One in a nutshell. <laughs> Ace could also happen at every time and just not everyone was physicals. But yeah. Hope you all enjoyed it. Actually, 20907 a PB at this point. So also something to be really happy about. <laughs>